welcome back to my channel my name is Filimi and if it's your first time coming across my channel you're welcome if you are a returning subscriber you're also welcome thank you for keep coming back um do subscribe we do like the video share the video i've i've been having really amazing diys this past month and i'm really really enjoying it i hope you are as well if you are leave a comment this, <laughs> this always happens i always lose my words but leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you've been enjoying so far um, give me ideas of what you would like to see on this channel I share sewing and craft tutorials and that's about it and today is another craft tutorial and I'm using this board which I've painted brown I use this acrylic paint burnt umber to paint the board it's just a flat board um, and I'm going to be using this today so what I'm thinking now is just to do like a letter, a letter P, that's my name, with the flowers. So I'm going to arrange the flowers that I've created. I'm going to show you how I made the flowers. The materials we're using are thread and needle, you need your glue gun and your glue stick and um, a scissors maybe and that's about it. Okay, so you just have your scrap fabric here. Um, I'm not going to have any specific dimensions because the fabrics are not sort of even and depending on the size of the fabric that's how big the flower how small the flower is going to be which is fine i want it to be i want it to have varying sizes so for this one i'm just going to try and straighten the edge a bit to make it sort of like a square and um, i want about six or five petals so i'm going to fold it this way and see how i can make it sort of even to give me six pieces and so to start off I'm just going to take one of these and sort of fold it into a triangle okay so to start off I'm going to fold my triangle and start sewing from the right side just to run and stitch close to the edge nothing too serious or even or whatever and pull that and then sew along the second edge so you're sewing in a V pattern and then once you're done sewing that you're just gonna gather it together and pull can you see it's formed one petal formed one petal so you just pull that and for the first one you can decide to go ahead and um, make it tighter uh, just go in between the layers again to tighten it up okay cool so the second petal is going you're gonna do it the same way fold it in half in a triangle form, triangular shape, you can cut off the excess and create more scrap fabric. <laughs> it's funny you're trying to use up scrap fabric and you end up creating even more scrap fabric. But I'll stuff the tiny things that I can use into a pillow or something. Um, so yeah, you take the second one and you just sew in a V form. the flower just gather it and here you go so you can just pull it tight and secure it with another stitch it gets hard so you can just get assistance okay now so I rolled up a fabric like so and then roll it this way okay. 
Now I'm going to add the glue to just close this off. But I'm waiting for the glue. Oh my gosh, my nails are crusty. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Jeez. All right. Um, this is not even focused, is it? Okay, I'm just waiting for my glue gun to heat up. And then I will glue this part together like so. And I'm just going to add glue on top here and use it to um, and place it in the middle just to seal up that opening in the middle just to make it neat, look neat. Okay, so to make the small rosettes, I'm going to use this satin fabric and then fold it in half, wrong side together, and then just sew a running stitch all through the length of the fabric. You're going to just fold the beginning, the start here in half and use a glue gun to hold that. Okay, and now you're going to roll, oops, you're going to roll this around itself. And then when you get to the bottom, you can just fold this in like so and glue it down. Just look at it. Oh, I love it. Ooh, it's so nice. I don't I really don't know how I'm gonna arrange it to make it all look really nice but I'm getting there okay so so far I've made three more of the um, satin flowers and they all turned out different uh, which is fine so I'm gonna make more and I think I want to add like black because I have black satin as well and so the Ankara ones are just like accent colors um, and yeah so it's not just like all like, too much color going on so that's what I'm gonna do Oh guys, I I'm done making the flowers. Well, I think so, but I feel like I want to fill in some gaps with smaller flowers. But I haven't glued it on. I just like arranged it and played around with how I wanted things to be. And I think I'm sort of happy with this um, arrangement so far. So okay, I'm gonna use the glue gun now to stick the flowers onto the board. But this is what I, I ended up with. <laughs> I let her pee. Uh, this is it. This is my monogram, my fabric flower monogram letter. I hope this gives you an idea to make something similar and even better. And if you do, please share with me on Instagram at films.secret. <laughs> Yeah, uh, please do subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment what you think about this letter, monogram, <sighs> fabric flower monogram letter, jeez, and what else you'd like to see me craft with scrap fabric or anything, sewing um, tutorials, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video guys, bye.